Join me today as we learn about system version tables and how to use them to store our historical data. Hello everyone and welcome to Desktop channel. System version tables are a feature in SQL that allows you to keep historical record of all the changes made to the table. This can be useful for auditing, reporting and data recovery. So good things about its usage was uh, you can keep a historical record of all the changes uh, made to a table which can be useful for auditing, reporting, data recovery it also allows you to view the data that exists at a specific point in time or over a range of time, which can be useful for identifying and correcting errors or for any analyzing trends uh, that you want to do over time. Uh, keep in mind, we also have to be careful about increased storage space required as new rows are inserted to reflect changes uh, and this could be a problem for large data sets. The performance may slow down when querying the history of a table, particularly for large datasets. Uh, it may increase the complexity of the data manipulation, especially when using stored procedures to implement data manipulation and history querying. And it also may increase the complexity of the database schema, especially when adding temporal table constraints and indexes. Some scenarios where you can use them are for auditing and compliance and by keeping an historical record of all the changes made to a table and system version tables can be used to track and audit changes. Uh, so this can be really useful for these compliance and regulations. Uh, it can be also useful for data recovery by keeping an historical record of all the changes made to a table, system version tables can be used to recover that data that was accidentally deleted or modified. I will show you now how you can configure your system version tables. Here we are in Management Studio. So to create a system version table, you first need to create a regular table with the necessary columns, and then you will add two additional columns, a start time column and the end time column. And these columns will be used to track the time period during each row was valid. Next, you will need to add a temporal table constraint to the table and this constraint will ensure that the start time and the end time columns are populated correctly and that the data in the table is consistent over time. So, here in my example, I will create my table and as you can see, I will set for the start time and end time a period for system time and I will pass these two columns. So, doing that, I, I can assure that my start time and end time will be my date uh, columns for the, um, the history table. So, we can take a look at our data. We, we didn't have data yet, but to insert data into a system version table, you use the same insert statement as you would for a regular table. However, the start time and end time columns will be automatically populated with the current date and time. So, don't forget, you have to activate your system version at first. So, after, uh, before we add uh, some uh, data, we have to alter our product table and we're gonna set system version equals to one and we will define uh, what will be the name of our history table. So we will run this and now we can insert some registers. We will only insert one register just for example purposes. So let's see, let's check our data now. So here we have our data from product. We have the product ID, product name, price, and we have the start time and end time. When you update or delete a row in a system version table, a new row will be inserted to reflect the changes. So the end time column of the original row will be updated with the date and time of the change and the start time column of the new row will be set to the same value. So as we can make an update to our product table, we are we're gonna update our product number with ID number one and we will set a new price. So if we take a look at our product table, 
we have our So as we take a look at our uh, product table, we can see that our product ID number one has now a new price. But how we can check the history of this, uh, of this product? So you can query the history of a system version tables by using the for system clause in your select statement. And this will allow you to view the data as it exists at a specific point in time or over a range of time. So we're just going to set the system time hall to see all the changes that were made uh, to our history. And as we can see, we have our product ID, all the versions of our product ID number one with the older price that was changed right now and the, mo the, the most recent price that we, we have a start time and no end time defined. You can also search for a specific period in time. It will be the same, the same thing. But you can define, if you have a large amount of data, we can define uh, just a month period or uh, more than one month period, uh, a few years, whatever. Just what you need for your analysis. So, a quick note, if you want to delete your system version table, it's not as simple as using drop table. So, you have first to set off system versioning, and then you can drop your main and your history table. You can also change the scheme of your table, and the changes will be reflected in your history table. So, if you, if you change these schemas here, or if you have a new column, We can go here to our database. We can check our table. And we have our system version of table. We have our history table under them. And you can see that we already have the new column here and the new column here. Okay, so last thing, if you want to delete your system version table, it's not as simple as using a drop table. You have to first set off system versioning and then you can drop your main and history table. So uh, if you try to, to drop your table right now, you'll get this error message saying that you cannot delete a table that uh, is using a system version temporal table. But you can set the system versioning off, you can drop your product table, and you can drop your product history. That's it. So SQL system version tables provide a powerful way to track changes to your data over time and to maintain the historical record of your data. So that is all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos as we explore SQL Server together.